Stephanopoulos defends Hillary. Special pleader for Hillary. Cut six hat tip free beacon. Go. To the tune of some, I think, some millions of dollars. Yeah, you know, I read the book that this is based on Clinton right. Cash, read it, and I actually interviewed the author on Sunday. This is a tough one. As you know, the Clinton campaign says you haven't produced a shred of evidence that there was any official action as secretary that, that supported the well, interests of donors. You didn't disclose in your book that he had sold the interest. Beyond that, yes. there's no evidence at all that Hillary Clinton got directly involved in this decision. We've done investigation here at ABC News, found no proof of any kind of direct action. He said there's no smoking gun, no evidence that she changed the policy based on donations to the foundation no smoking gun the democrats have said this is this is indication of your partisan uh, interest they say you used to work for president president bush as a speechwriter you funded by the Koch brothers how do you respond to that because when you actually look at look closely at it he even says there's no evidence of any direct action taken right. on behalf of the donors. Well, Donna, I got to talk to you first. I know you're close to the Clinton team. They did not want to put anybody out to talk about uh, this book today. Hillary Clinton has this whole scandal now about some form. Are you familiar with the Clintons? <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Well, very funny. It's very, very funny. This Stephanopoulos is, uh, well, what can we call him? Bipolitical? I don't even know what to call him. A pretend journalist? And there's so many of them, are there not? That book is loaded with facts. That book is a roadmap for any uh, grand jury, which should be impaneled to investigate the Clintons. And let me tell you something else. You ready for this? That Clinton money laundering operation should be shut down. That's not a library. It's not a foundation. That's a front. It's a Potemkin village for charity. These guys live high off the hog. It's not enough. That Clinton makes $150 million and both of them from their speeches and so forth and so on? No. The donations to their money laundering operation, they live off that, they travel off that, they eat off that. To show you what a fool Stephanopoulos is, he's not even inquisitive about it. He's not even curious about it. You don't have proof of a crime here. You don't, no, you don't. Well, he doesn't have subpoena power, you moron. He's not a grand jury, you moron. He's not a U.S. attorney, you moron. He's not part of the public integrity section at the Justice Department, you moron. You paid for sellout phony journalist. That's right, I said it, because that's exactly what he is. And it's too bad conservatives have to keep raising this. Where's the rest of the phony media, the phony journalists? I guess they're getting ready for next year's Washington Correspondents' Dinner, picking out their gowns and their tuxedos and trying to figure out who they're going to invite. 